Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to let's play the witch doctor once again this is Lord please and I bring you Diablo 3 beta so as you can see we managed to get the crowns we are now Digibel 2 open the cathedral door I will show that but first of all we have to talk to Mr. Kane here me now to the lost king. I have to turn my son up as well with it, you can and as you can see, if you're checking this on my YouTube channel, you can see an address uh, down on the bottom. That is uh, because I'm uh, currently streaming this live, so sometimes I will do that as well. And uh, my stream is twitch.tv slash Largo, please. So very easy to find. Um, not that much uh, scheduled nowadays, but uh, maybe if people are interested, please type uh, in the comments and leave there. Because then I know, and uh, then I have an idea of what to do in the future. Though we are kinda running out of beta since uh, about five weeks, a bit over five weeks until the release of the full game. So let's go back down into Lyric's Passage, and it's time to move on towards Skeleton King, that is. Ornate door, let's open that one. Throw some, some things around. Do I have any skills that I want to play around with? No, not much. Nothing, nothing private, no. Ah, nothing. Nothing of interest right now. So that's alright. So, Cathedral level. Uh, cathedral level 2. I just want to destroy that statue because it was annoying. Why was it annoying, you might uh, wonder? Well, it existed. And that alone is reason to annoy me. And uh, <laughs> this particular build of the Witch Doctor, uh, not by Blizzard, but by me, um, with those skills. I'm not killing fast, that's for sure. But on the other hand, I'm not dying either, so... Yes, things are alright. Please die. Get back, get back! There we go. No problemo. Need more time. Things are going down. So let's move on down here. To the dungeon. Excuse me, I just have to turn my screen off, uh, my secondary screen, because I am getting Skyped. You cannot hear it because I turned the sound off. Lazarus. But <coughs> someone is the writing and dark freaking and novel there. Into it, so the by the power of turning the screen off, I salute you. The Archbishop need the counselors not at their empty heads in agreement and sent us off to die. There we go. Working away here. It's not going to check you. Serious. This is just fine. Have to do something about it. Get away. Okay. First of all, this job seems to go away. Okay, what what should I do to actually increase my damage? I, th I think I'm going to go with the poison dart instead because they deal uh, quite a decent amount of damage. Need more time. Yeah, of course, of course. Things are messing with me here, and uh, it's, it's always pulling down on the skills. Now we should be okay. There we go. Now we can actually kill things. I will not accept this. It's not my time to die. I think he's a bit late because he is kind of Now he's double dead. A lot of guys are down here as well, so really have to do so something about that. My dogs are still doing quite alright, although they're not really dealing any damage at all. 
Yeah, but th that is not why I'm keeping it. Maybe I should do it like this. I can use the corpse spiders. And then I can use fire bats. And now Need I can more strike. Time. Okay. How beautiful. We've got a master walk, work short bow here, and uh, that is. Oh, it's just. Cool. Uh, I think I do have. Uh, not great gear, but decent gear at least, so I should be able to do something about anything, anytime, at least. And of course, let's go for the dead end. Oh, hello. And why I'm going with the spiders? Well, I really like them, and uh, I, I think it is a really fun skill to use. Uh, especially uh, at, um, I think it's level 9, which show what happens then. Okay, let's see here. Hey, you got bats? Yeah, well I got bats as well. Mine are flame. Sometimes at least. Get back, get back. Gathering cloth pants, let's see what they can do for me. They... no. Just... just leave it there. They were awful. Yeah, at least in comparison uh, to my... Damn it, so many skeletons, and they refuse to die. You, you should get out. You should be right now. There we go. Uh, lower volume. And when we return from our hereditary Found myself in trouble as well. Uh, not so much by the game, uh, but kind of feels when I'm playing. So uh, I was going to cut open a package of bacon today with, uh, with my sister, uh, which I use in the kitchen. Uh, so I washed it and then I thought, well, I'm, I might uh, I should probably dry it uh, with uh, or something. So I decided to do that. But instead of using, using it as a towel that I was using, uh, well, was supposed to use, I used my finger. Believe it or not, but uh, this can be pretty damn sharp. And that is what I discovered. And it's not incredibly deep, it's not you know, serious in any ways, but it, it still can hurt. And uh, th that is the right way, so let's just take a small exploration here. Let's get back here. I'm really finding a good set of skills to use here, uh, which really makes me enjoy myself. And that is, of course, a problem. I think I'm going to actually go back to the grasp of the dead uh, with the grouping eels. Because that is something. That is a really skill I like um, with this slowing effect. And uh, these fights are too cool to not to use. See? Wow! Oh, <laughs> and as you can see, no big amount of damage being dealt here. One or two in damage each strike, so yeah, wonderful. <laughs> There we go, finally again. Something killed. Of course, it was nice. <laughs> and also, uh, if you didn't notice, maybe if you celebrate Easter, maybe it doesn't really matter, but anyways, uh, uh, we can just out to end. I don't know if it's going to count tomorrow. And, um, it's not really a custom, but um, people do, uh, at least in Sweden, uh, celebrate that uh, in a rather, well, drinky way. Let's put it like that way. And so it was um, me and some of my friends. Uh, one friend who, who lives in London, he, he was uh, visiting Sweden, and uh, we, he was like, well, let's go out, like, let's have some drinks, let's have fun, and get a good hangover, to him because uh, he, he was going to eat with uh, with his family. 
uh, have a dinner with this whole family, cousins and everything like that. Um, today is Sunday, that is. So he decided, well, why not be hangover, uh, hungover, because, uh, you know, it's a bit more fun to smell like beer while with the family. So, well, l somewhere along the line we adjusted that idea to, well, let's have a couple of drinks. Uh, we were a couple of friends, we were four people. And play some board games and just have a good time. So we prepared a board game, was kind of like a race, but you just wanted to shoot yourself. Because the rules, it, let's put it like that. It took, it took too long time to figure out how to play the game. So you were kind of bored with the game before you even start. And uh, I, I'm quite sure that that game would be really, really awesome if you just <laughs> took the time to learn the rules. But, uh, well, we didn't. And then w he went and uh, got some pizza. And w back in the Gilbert's Travels with uh, Jack Back was on TV, so he watched that instead. And suddenly. Uh, my friend, uh, the one we, uh, whose place we were at, he just pulled out Just Dance 3, I think that's what it's called, to connect. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> the evening kinda took a dose die from that pocket. Man, did we have fun! So, it was four guys, just playing Just Dance. Three, having an awesome time, then you will have to fight your way and of course it was dark outside and we had lights on inside, so people can see in. And what would you think if just uh, and they couldn't see the TV or anything? Just just us through the window, and I'm guessing people was wondering a bit because we were standing there, four guys on the line dancing, and we are not particularly good dancers either but we enjoyed it. So, that was my Easter. <laughs> Not how I used to run, but... I had fun with that, of course, I'm not having fun. So, I guess I kinda won. Uh, well, back to the game. We are supposed to fight uh, Yonzar here with our uh, Temple of Cormac. Cormac? Cormac, what's called. Yeah, you can bash with these spikes. Wooden spikes, and uh, that is foul magic. I think he's not really grasping the idea of foul magic here. This will take quite Because not only uh, does he have quite a lot of health, he's also spawning other skeletons which draw the attention from our spiders. And my. Uh, dogs and every fucking thing. And there we go, we are using the hard words here because I do not like this fight at all right now. I am doing it wrong. Whoopsie daisy! Dogs are going down. Who will let the dogs out? Please die. That's all I'm asking for from you. Die like never before. Die! Never say die. There we go. Yeah. Betrayal can never be forgiven. Brodax of the Thank Snake. Oh so yeah, I'm going to use skeleton. that one. If we find Ugly, yeah. Yeah, please. Please join me. I actually got something for you. Uh, let's see, that's the right button to use. Here we go. This will aid me. Divine or heal. It will actually taunt the enemies. No, heal. Uh, go with the heal. No, um, there we go. That will serve me well. Yeah, it will serve you well. It will serve you beautifully. Okay, Cathedral level 4. So now we're just looking for the Royal Crypt, and uh, that uh, means that we are getting closer and closer to. Lyrics. sure why has. Thrown while he's dead, but who am I to judge? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so we got uh, the solar first. Uh, they're not spawning s uh, snakes anymore, they're spawning imps instead. Which is not as dangerous, but um, not more irritating because they are not just attacking, they're running around screaming and looking stupid. <sighs> yeah, I've got these guys as well. Oh, look at that, cross thingy. Oh, mother of things that won't kill me! Okay, it's time to hope the best. And go for the kill. And get a level up as well. And, uh, the wrong button, that's alright. Cudgel of Slaughter, Lucky Hide Belt of the Hawk. Got some items here, and uh, I will check them out as soon as I'm not crying like a baby anymore. God knows when that is, but it's not yet, I promise you that. Uh, I think they are getting. They, they're getting fewer now. This guy. Uh, let's see, let's just back to a bit here. So, that's some particular fun. Um, no, no, I will not use those either. I tried to count how many we've killed, but I've lost track. Yeah, you lost your track. But, let's see here. Terror. So, we got a new skill here. Soul Harvest. Feeds on the life force of up to 5 enemies within 16 yards. Gain 28 intelligence for each affected enemy. This effect lasts 30 seconds. And this is, of course, a great skill. And you can keep it up pretty much constantly, and uh, this would give you, uh, what is it, 140 intelligence, and that is nice. And here we got go with the leaping spiders. Summon jumping spiders that leap up to 25 yards to reach the target and attack for 90% weapon damage as physical. So not only are they attacking harder, they will be jumping to the targets as well to be able to attack faster. And of course, if you check the in my intelligence here, I do have 34. That is a 34% damage increase. So, <laughs> you can see how 140 intelligence extra is really, really nice. You can see, I've got 5 stacks right there. 174% instead of 34. That is quite alright. But I will actually let it run out now, because I will show you the tremendous difference between damage. Okay, so let's see here. Right now I have 19 damage. And this is uh, damage per second. Well, 19 in damage, let's put it that way. Now let's find a couple of enemies. You're just one, two, no, I want a couple. At least five. This is not good enough. Not down there either. No, just four. No, they are five. But they will be dead before I'm back. So let's move on up here. There should be something somewhere, you would think. There we go. They are five. Good enough. Boom! You check now, 40. So I'm actually doubling my damage right now. And you can see on the number up there uh, earlier, it was like 2 or 2 to 3 in damage every time. Um, what is it called? The Drop of the Dead was dealing damage. Now it's 5 or 6. That is a huge increase. Really, really great increase. And also the spiders are now jumping rather than just slowly crawling the way into the faces of the enemy. Okay, check this out. And not only are they jumping into the fray, they are also dealing more damage once they are there, so... Apparently level 9 was a great level to get when you are the witch level. Who would have thought that? Is 
that, and let's go and steal these souls. More well jump. Still, I'm keeping up a decent amount of damage, so I'm, I'm pleased. Yeah, you can kill him. I believe in you. I believe in you! So let's continue up here. Let's see what we can find. It seems to me that they decided to never spawn more than four enemies at a time right now. And I don't think that's right. There we go. Oh, they will die before. Yeah, I'm not cool down with it. Here we go. As you can see, there's a huge increase in my damage output. Things are really falling now, uh, in comparison to earlier. And of course, earlier I didn't have any kind of problems with surviving, but that wasn't a problem. So they were definitely strong enough to do everything needed. But I didn't do it particularly fast. It can be a bit frustrating sometimes. But, uh, now it's a whole different matter. And uh, I'm not really finding what I'm looking for. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm finding a lot of experience points. So I'll get some more life with that. Well. Poke up. Oh, look at that! Something's oh flashing no. over here. It has to be here. Oh yeah! Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah! Hand axe of the winter. No, that was awful. Really, really awful. Exceptional sickle. Not something that I'm going to use. But well. Maybe if someone would ever run here off me, they might turn that and make use of it. You know, that's not how Diablo works. As soon as someone leaves this game, it would kind of, you know, disappear. And everything that is laying on the ground as well. But of course, if I even if I don't pick it up, no one else will ever see it. So, But still, you can pretend. You can pretend that some villagers will strain here. Find that signal and make use of it. Could happen. Could happen. Just one. That's a big difference. And we are breaking things down here. Slowly but surely. Actually, this is going right as well. Said that. Look at that! Easy peasy! Okay, let's get these guys down. And let's open the wooden door as well. So now we're getting there. We're so close to finding Mr. Lyric. Just, just we have just arrived in Tristan. Just general. Just I must that say, away. are you ever afraid in battle? Fear is a part of life. If you live, you fear. Okay, so if you live, you fear. So remember that. That means that all of you are. You will never I will not skip this me. once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see how we will do this. You, you were defeated the moment you surrendered to madness. He's dead. Seriously. I think that it, it's not okay to pass a judgment on someone who was uh, deceived by the devil himself. And then betrayed and murdered by his lieutenant. I think he's quite alright to be a bit mad down here. In his own tomb. I, th I think... I really think so. But, well, who am I? To uh, you know, judge? Maybe Cormac is right. This 
might turn a bit interesting. Oh yeah. And this will take a while. Just say no. Let's get some of these up, because that means that I am dealing more damage. And uh, <laughs> my sure bound thing here in life, it would be that. I need more damage and <laughs> need it now, because <laughs> Lyric do not know how to die. And I'm going to grab some of these, because my dogs are falling like stupid fast. Remember, try to keep the buff up, it's very important. It's a lot of extra damage just because I'm using one skill every once in a while! Yes. Potions, cannot stun on those yet. That is a bit of a problem. Please stand still, please stand still. Yeah, bring it! More skeletons, let's go and kill this once again. Only three stacks this time, but what can you do? What can you do? He's about to run out anyways. Are we? Are we? Leave me alone. Drugs up here. And as you can see, I will be able to bring this bad boy down. Even though it took a while, it seems to me that I'm making sure that I'm not dying at least. That is something to keep in mind. This is the most important part of playing hardcore. Things can take forever, that's alright. You don't have to do things fast. You need to do them safe. Look at that, follow the Black King, Witch Doctor, follow the Black King, all classes. And this is, of course, the second time I'm going through all of these. I've done it once before. So, well, yeah. And it took me about a week, um, and then I and also worked during that weekend in between. So, about five days to get all achievements. The first time, because <laughs> I played a lot when I got access to the beta. So, let's see. Adventuring w Wanga Doll of Thorns. Let's see, I think I'm going to use that one instead. These glo glo gloves. These gloves are improvements. Let's check this out. This is something that is beautiful! Holy mother of daggers, Batman! Yes, please. Now we're talking. So... That was the last part of the playthrough with the Witch Doctor. Next up will be the last class, of course the Wizard. So, I bid you all for well, um, well till then. Pl if you like this video, please press the like button. And please subscribe, it actually helps. Uh, and um, if there's something you want to see in the future, uh, before release and also after release, uh, just type a comment and I will see to it. Thank you everybody and goodbye.